Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Online Edition. We're playing for a thousand dollars right now, and I hope we can win it all. No, I'm not. I don't know what that. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Whenever you get all damage, you may create that many one and white soldier tokens. This guy seems gassed for six mana, though. We can do like we can do phantom drafts. I just don't feel as good about doing phantom drafts. I don't know why. It's still ten tickets. Like it's still or yeah, it's still ten tickets. So it's ten tickets instead of like we already have packs for this too. So it's like eh. I think it's this guy. Chupacabra is also so good, and so is Mana War. I feel like this guy's terrible because they just don't deal you damage, right? Like, how do you build around Grenzo? What, put creatures in your deck? <laughs> I don't get it. Also, is Grenzo mythic? I'm going to take Chupacabra. I think it's better than all those other cards. I also want to take Swords here. I think it's better than all these other cards. And then we're black-white, which we've had some success with. And we can cloud shift our chupacabra, or we can supernatural stamina. We can unearth our. No, we can't. Just kidding. I'm gonna take Dusk Legion Zealot. Kyle with 45 months in a row. That is a ridiculous amount of. Uh, it's a ridiculous amount of months. I think it's just Zelda here. I like, I, I'm growing to like Unearth, but we can get that bad boy later. Also, Griffin Protector is pretty good. Zulaport Cutthroat seems like where I want to be. Let's do that. That is an uncommon I want to build around. What's Gond? Oh, Presence of Gond. I gotcha. Oh boy. Are we doing it? Spoiler alert, we're not doing it. Yeah, I think we've seen a rat in every pack. A rat in every pack, uh, which is unfortunate. I think it's just Oromancer here. I'm not a huge Caustic Tar fan, but then again, we don't have to be playing white. We could actually be playing green, and we could, uh, I'm going to take the Tar. I'm going to branch out a little bit and play the Tar, and we're going to try to, like, incrementally destroy them. I will incrementally destroy you. Twisted Abomination is a good dude. Sundering Titan is uh, an interesting dude. I wonder if we just play, take all the Cultivates and the Arbor Elves and things, and we just cultivate into uh, Sundering Titan. Do we just do that? Tell me if we Sundering Titan. Do we Sundering Titan? Do we go green, green, black? All right. Green, black it is. Oh, look. Now we can take this Crosan Colossus. This dude is way too expensive. I think I'm just going to take the Pillory here. Like, this dude costs 8 mana to flip up. You might as well just pay the 9 mana. What? Come on. What up, Kettle, Kettle Corn Jalapeno Chips? I say Jalapeno, and I think it's Jalapeno. And it makes me feel bad about it, because I feel like it shouldn't be... I shouldn't mess it up like that. I like White Mane Lion with our, uh, our Ravenous Chupacabra. And even our Dusk Legion Zealot is fine. We can also bounce our Sundering Titan if we get there. Rat, whatever. I'll feed you when we get there. Oh, 
<sighs> I don't know if we want Titan anymore. Actually, 8 mana is pretty reasonable. I bet we can get to 8 mana in this format. Look, another rat. I'm going to take a Supernatural Stamina. That's a card that I'm okay with on a Chupacabra or a Cutthroat or something. Or a Zealot, rather. That's a lot of red cards. <laughs> Pino, 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 let's call the whole thing off. Oh my god, this is three Relentless Rats that we can add. Noble Templar is so much better, though. We already have more rats this 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 entire... In, in pack one, we would have had more rats than we did in the entire uh, previous... I'm going to take Pillage. The entire previous draft. I said Pillage. It's actually Plummet. This is where we hope to open a Jace and we just put it in the sideboard. Well, goodbye, Jace. Oh, don't say main board. That is definitely a... Uh... A pet peeve of mine. So, Brona, actually, I was going to mention this. I have been... I, I just experimented last night with, with putting a video at 11 Eastern AM and 11 Eastern PM. And I just wanted to get a feel for that and see how it see how it went. Um, I don't know if that's, a, if that's good or not. I don't know if that's a preferable thing that you guys are going to be fine with or... Coalition Relic, huh? Oh, there's a murder. I think it's just murder. Coalition Relic does actually let us um, play Sundering Titan. Stop. Go. Oh, God. All right. Um, it's either murder or Coalition Relic. I'm pretty sure. I think it's actually Coalition Relic because then it lets us put Sundering Titan in. I mean, no, I, I'm not saying that it's either going to be one or the other. I'm saying I'm wondering if I should put both videos at 11, bo video, videos both at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. I think it's, I think it's Coalition Relic here. I think we can get more murders, he said ambitiously. I think Herbus Protector is better than Fiend Hunter. And I don't think it's that close. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Pino, Pino, let's call the whole thing off. Coalition Relic lets us ramp twice for this because we can put a counter on it. Uh, turn three Coalition Relic, we can put a counter on it, so it'll give us uh, turn four. We'll have four lands, the Coalition Relic, and the extra mana. So it ramps us from three to six, which is actually pretty awesome. Thalia. I don't think it's another Templar. I don't like Diabolic Edict. I don't think we need a second White Main Lion. I think it's actually just Thalia here. It does make our three drops more awkward, but it's she's very good. Or we could take a Squadron Hawk and hope to hit more Squadron Hawks. That's the other thing. I do back up on content, so like... There were times where I was like four days after Masters was out, I was still putting Legacy Cube drafts up. Let's go with Squadron Hawk. And hope we can get more Squadron Hawks.
just lacerator number two. We'll just lacerate them. Actually, we'll take a loyal sentry. I think that's fine. Mana leaks. Glad to hear it, buddy. I like that. Geist of the Moors did a number on me. Angelic Page is very, very good, but it might just be Geist of the Moors. 3-1 Flyer is pretty aggressive, and I feel like we're already kind of aggressive here. Pacifism. That is a late pacifism. I mean... I'm not going to look a gift pacifism in the mouth. Let's call the whole thing off. Next, please, Ram. Sure. I think it's better than Dauntless Cathar. Um, and we can take out the Lacerator and be less aggressive now. I think we're actually a uh, more like a black-white control deck here. Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if your name was Brad? Um... No. <laughs> but I can see why you'd think that. Um, I actually kind of like Street Wraith. It draws us a card or it, um, it's just a Swamp Walker. We don't have any five drops either. Could be good. I also like Sheepy Boy. They block basically everything. I'm going to take the Sheep. Hey, Undead Gladiator. Oof. I like an Oromancer. What are we, what's our, oh, these guys are enchantments too. That's actually sick. Combo. Uh, I will take a Diabolic Edict at this point. I want any second noble Templar. What else is an enchantment? Pillory? Pacifism? Okay. Okay. God, another Relentless Rats. We'll just take a Will of the Wisps. Alright, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. One time. Animar. That is not better than all. Ravenous Chupacabra is probably better than all. We're passing a murder, but we're just going to take a Chupacabra. Hong Ming, Sleeping Dragon. Also, we're going to put the Squadron Hawk in the sideboard until we get more Squadron Hawks. Probably just taking the uh, the guy that makes our other guys bigger. I like Karana Zealot, but it's so expensive. Hashtag two troops. I would also like uh, one Cloud Shift for this deck. A double Nyx Fleece Ram and a Luminarch Ascension seems pretty good. I'm just going to take the Luminarch Ascension and call it a day. Tomato, tomato. I don't even want, I don't even want hawks now. Let's call the hawk thing off. None of these cards look good. I don't want another Templar. I don't care about Ghoul because we don't really have a way to really take advantage of it. Eladomri's Call actually seems reasonable with Coalition Relic. I think it's Eladomri's Call. Actually, Unearth. Does Unearth do anything? Unearth gets an Oromancer or a Sheep. Uh, we can actually Unearth a White Mane Lion to return a Chupacabra to replay it. I think Unearth is probably pretty good here. Hey, that's pretty good. We got a fixing land for our little deck. 
want to take Path of Peace. That's a solid removal spell that we might want access to. Diabolic Edict, you can... Take another Supernatural Stamina. So we need one cut? Probably just cutting Loyal Sentry. I don't think this guy's... This guy's pretty unimpressive. Everything else seems very good. I don't even know if I like Kong Ming that much. Oh, uh, I like Ruthless Ripper. Copy a triggered ability you control. That's actually not terrible. Like, at the end of the turn, we can put two counters on this. It's just expensive. I think Ripper is probably better. Stamina does make the main... Well, I mean, we have one stamina in the main deck anyway. It's not... There's no such thing as a main board. Just stop it. Oh, God. It hurts so bad. I take Skeleton Eyes, I guess. I don't know. I don't need a third Supernatural Stamina. We're not going to play Renewed Faith. Like, we just don't have a lot of good attacking creatures. It makes our Nyx Fleeps Rams one, one fives, one sixes. Let's call the whole thing off. I don't like Ur Grader as much, but I don't need a third disenchant. Cut a Kong Ming and Cutthroat. What's a Cutthroat? What do you mean? There's no Cutthroat in our deck. Oh, this is actually a cut. This is not. So we actually have 22 cards. We have we have things to work with here. That's pretty good. Well, no, Cutthroat's great. I wouldn't cut Cutthroat. We also have room for one more card, so I don't even think we. I mean, like we don't have to really be cutting cards right now. It's prime deck and secondary deck. Come on. And then if you have a second sideboard, it's called tertiary deck. Everybody knows this. This is so obvious. This is like basic Magic 101 stuff. People won't be putting their double face cards in their mirror board. You're right. I agree with you. When does it stop is my question. What's our last what's our last card? Let's call the whole thing off. It might just be Path of Peace. How much removal do we have? Just these guys? Yeah, I can see Path. Uh Pacifism and Pillory. And Swords. <laughs> I guess it keeps going. Yeah, we're definitely playing Sundering Titan here. Sentry does block well. We could also get it back with Unearth. I actually kind of like Sentry here. Because we can actually block and then bounce it, right? With Yeah, that's actually cool. I like that. 8-8, eight, eight, perfect. That's how you know you built a perfect deck when it's like... Sorry, I can't stay, but have kids. I need to get them some lunch ready. See you at nap time. Thanks again so much for the content coming. I love watching. Peace. Uh, Manalix, thank you so much, man. Enjoy. You are enjoying his chocolate kush. Oh, man. Have a good afternoon, buddy. And I'll see you soon, I'm sure.
Hand is not great, but we're on the draw. We can play everything, so... Maybe we just win with Geist of the Moors. Or our opponent goes Squadron Hawk. Oh, their name is No More Hawks, so maybe not. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. All right. Well, land is that's good. I am just kidding. Land is not good. It was joke. I see. Well, there's no point in playing that now because they're just going to actually attack. That's sad. I think my red landscape. I don't know if it is underrated. Actually, everyone, everyone, I, everyone always plays this land when they have it. I've seen. Oh, how nice. Well, if we can pass, really? <laughs> Come on. If we can pacifism this guy, that'd be nice. What are the odds this guy is bigger than... I'm going to just block here. I don't want to take four million for a million years. Oh, what is that even doing in your deck? Really? <laughs> Come on. Uh, Chupacabra one time. Mm, that's okay. Oh, it's overrated then? Good lord, man. What an emotional roller coaster this has been. Went from underrated to overrated. I'm just going to keep blocking. Oh, I see. Little Rippy. Horror of the Broken Lands. All right, well, you can't play that guy, so that's good. Cycle that guy. Okay. Goodbye. Boom 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 crying out loud. How is this real life? <sighs> yeah. Chupacabra. Oh, that's actually insanely good. Everybody gets in there, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight. You just double block the con the stupid horror. Feels bad, man. I mean, we have live draws, I guess. I don't know. I hope they stack it. Oh, they stacked it right. Man, what happened to Nick's Fleece Rams? Three, four, five, six, seven. So we die if we don't. Well, that's sad. So I guess we just block. 
I don't even know. This is really bad for us. Oh, there's Plague Wind, there's Living Death. There's Pyroclasm. Sure. Yep. Cool. Yeah, there's actually quite a few. All right, I guess we're just playing around the uh, the living death. Ideally, we'll draw Luminarch Ascension. We did not. I mean, Edith can answer Rancor if they have one creature in play and if they sacrifice the one creature they're targeting Rancor with. Otherwise, not very good. I actually love the card border. Oh, come on, dude. I love the card borders of the spell book. That seems, they look like, they like amazing. Hoping for a swamp. Got a planes. Wow, I didn't even know they had living death before, uh, Oh, I have another Diabolic Edict, dummy. Sure. <laughs> Why even wait to do that? Just do it when it's on the stack. I mean, if you want to kill that guy with a, with a Disfigure, that's pretty fine. Also, you're playing a three-color deck, but you have no other colors? That's interesting to me. Sure. Another Diabolic Edict. Good to know. <laughs> really? Cool. It's actually fine. We can pacify that guy. We're going to draw Pillar of the Sleepless. We didn't. Well, that's pretty good, though. So you don't have an edict? I'll just take three here. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. They know what we have. But now we want to... We're, we're basically edict-proof now, I think. Sure.
So we have an Edict and Rancor in one other card. Oh, they sacked their own guy. Here comes Living End as your literal last card. So we do have Rancor in hand, so you... Yep, obviously. Oof, all right. Not terrible. That's even better. So, what do we know? Rancor in hand? Look at all these bad Larrys. Does that does that sate your bad Larry desire? God, I hope so. Yep, figured that was coming. So we take four here. If they have Invigorate, they can't cast it. We would gain three. And now you're dead on board to the flyer. Seems okay. Oh, Chupacabra. Oh, you killed Cutthroat here? Oh, you killed a flyer. That seems good. Do I win here? Yeah, we do. Their deck seems great, though. Holy smokes. All right, what's the wording on Living End? You exile them first, you sacrifice them, and then ex uh, you exile the cards in the graveyard. It's actually really confusing wording. Living death, rather, not living end. Each player exiles creatures from the graveyard, then sacrifices the creatures he or she controls. So this doesn't do anything. Or, oh, I guess it does, because you get to return it if it dies. That might actually be good. Maybe unearth is pretty bad here. I don't even like Path because it just puts them in the graveyard for them to get back. I like the, uh, at least with Pacifism, it keeps them on board. Did we get a, we didn't get a Nihil Spell Bomb, unfortunately. Actually, I do like Noble Templar over Caustic Tar because it is another guy we can just put in the graveyard pretty easily. Cheshire Pratt, have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, we did it, boys. We're ramming. I want to ram it with you. And I hope you like a ramming, too. Give me a Luminarch Ascension. I mean, if we have Illuminarch Ascension, we could have played it first and not taken any damage. I really want to auto-yield to that. I don't want to be... Oh, actually, yes. I was hoping for a Planes here. Just kidding. <laughs> Time to just cycle this on Earth here. I'm pretty sure we do.
<laughs> this is kind of funny. It is funny because Ram attack now. Oh, the diabolic edict. Oh, alright. Cool. Yikes. Sheepy boy, sheepy boy, what have you done? Supernatural stamina on this guy makes living death more fun. Rancor. That is real cute. No blocks will be had. We'll just pacify you. They have five cards? What's going on? What is even happening? Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've drawn eight sources of mana and five actual cards. Well, six, I guess, if you include unearthed. Um, oh, they sacrificed their own guy? Sure. That's intriguing. Oh, wow, I like Baloth Null and Twisted Abomination going on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Well, I guess they're shuffling. So what do they have in the graveyard right now? Just Treasure Keeper and Horror, and we have Kong Ming. I think it's worth Protector going to the graveyard, right? Because it, it's real good against their... It's real good against their uh, living, living death, so... We can just try to ride this 4-4 four -four to victory. They have seven cards in hand, though. That's pretty good. All right. This is very weird. Can we just draw Sundering Titan here? That'd be great. Oh, sheepy boy. I'm just going to play you now because I'd rather use the mana. It doesn't really matter. I mean, realistically, we could just could not have a way to deal with our flyers. All 
All right. Yep. Still in the upkeep. This could be living death time. LDT. Play an island. Choops. Big choops. Yep. Remember that time we had double chupacabra and uh, sundering titan? Me too. And double supernatural stamina. <laughs> I do feel like it's difficult to get rid of this Geist of the Morris with double supernatural stamina, but what do I know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's new relic art. You're gonna diabolic edict me? Nope. Just gonna keep on the keep the undead gladiator shenanigans going. I actually like uh, Supernatural Stamina a lot as well. They have 11 cards left in their deck. I have no idea what they're trying to do here. Sure. Like, getting Urbis Protector and Kong Ming and having up Supernatural Stamina seems pretty good for us. They still have Rancor in hand, right? So they're going to put the Rancor on this guy next turn and just attack us for a million. Huh. Gas. So we're just going to kill your morph. And then if you have living death, this is like a 9-9. Nine, nine. But they were going to try to flip naturally next turn. And if you have living death, uh, we just get the supernatural stamina of this guy and this guy. So they get our chupacabra back. It gets to kill the 9-9. Nine, nine, and uh, we also get a flyer back. My God. <laughs> yeah, they might be just digging for a living end. How many creatures they get back? Horror. Treasure Keeper, Dusk Legion Zealot, which puts them to six. And then, Kuro yeah, they would actually just die to Protector and, like, Kong Ming at that point. I mean, they have nine cards. They're pretty far away from decking themselves at the moment. We have five cards in hand to our one supernatural stamina. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm not writing GG. That's super rude. <laughs> So 
So this guy coming back puts them to six. Twisted Abomination, okay. Well, we're definitely setting up the... Uh, if they living end and don't keep up any mana, we're just going to get the Geist back and kill them, I think. Wow. I think they actually just did that so they can living end here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do they have any flyers? They're tapped out. They played a land. They have no flyers. So we just actually kill them with stamina. Is that right? I guess they could have packed the negation, sure. But actually we have Kong Ming anyway. Um, so Angel's already five. I don't know if that's good enough though. Living Dice exiles the cards in the graveyard. So this card would die. Stamina still works. That's not how stamina works. When this creature dies, it doesn't exile the cards on the board. It exiles the cards in the graveyard. You're sacrificing the creature, so it still dies. I'd rather stamina this guy because I get another body out of it. We're actually going to put a charge counter on this in case we get to... Uh, So you have no flyers, and we have a sword and plowshares. Nine in the air. Thank goodness this nine nine that is uh, that is taller than the birds does not have reach. Thank goodness for that. And actually, we had nine power of floats because of the Kong Ming. Still not tall enough. Sorry, buddy. Maybe one day. One day. Yeah, meanwhile, a spider that can't actually get taller than any tree can block flyers. That's interesting. I don't hate this hand. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I'm on the draw, so. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's Nick's Fleece Ram. I mean, I'm more interested in going turn three Coalition Relic and being able to draw. Oh, they missed a land drop. Uh, being able to draw a six drop and play it on that turn, which is pretty good. Oh, now they got a morph. It's always a morph. ABM, always be morphing. Oh, you're going to sacrifice Vessel and keep one black floating. Well, 
Why does it say whenever Zulport Cutthroat or another creature you controls dies? Why does it just say whenever a creature you controls dies? That's interesting to me. Discarded a Zombify. Along with Gisela and Horror. Oh, it actually hit the graveyard with Vessel. Never mind. So we're definitely attacking for one here. The ability can't work if the Cutthroat is dead, but it still triggers when it dies, right? So... <laughs> oh boy. Just the recurring nightmare for creatures. Give me a chupacabra one time, please. That is not at all a chupacabra. Oh, well, that's unbelievable. I'll sack my elf to get back a Gisela. Yeah, of course you will. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? To the surprise of no one. Well, can't beat that. Can't beat 5-5 five, five flying, first strike, double strike. <laughs> my god. The old Hell's Care Caretaker Elvish Piper deck, it seems. We don't have swords. What are you guys saying? Swords at swords, one of them? I don't have swords. <laughs> are you guys seeing a swords to plowshares that I don't that I don't know about? And then they just sack the Gisela to... Uh, it's actually a terrible draw. They, they actually just sack the Gisela to get back Horror, and then they can sack, like, Horror to get back the Gisela. Like, it's... We're not in a good shape here. Yep. This is ridiculous, man. What are these decks we're playing against? We got Living Death first round. We got Elvish Piper, Hell's Caretaker, Gisela deck round two. Oh, come on. Here we go. Sure. <laughs> good good deal. We can't really win here. They just sack Treasure Keeper to get infinite value. They get Gisela back. Like... Why is this only creatures we control? Why can't it be any creature? I guess it's possible if we just draw, like, if we do draw swords or, like, it's got. It literally has to be an exile spell. Wait, what? Oh, you hit a timber pack wolf. That's pretty good. Oh, it does. It deals twice as much damage, doesn't it? Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. You know, like you do. Yeah, all right, we're done here. Literally no no desire to play this match out. Like, we just have to have as many answers for the, the idiot as possible, I think. Uh, Diabolic Edict's probably better than Pacifism here. Just bring all the Edicts. 
maybe a path of peace too, just to have answers galore. Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Lafof and Elf Tier, Elf Tiers at the same time. It's almost like you guys engineered it this way. All right, well, Chupacabra feels good. Sure. Wow. 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 That's hilarious to me, dude. Oh, sheepy boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Sure. Look at all the cycling we're doing here. Really, you don't just boots up like your Ruthless Ripper or something, just for the sake of doing it? That's a dude that we can just play. Feel good about it. He's just a sheepy boy from a sheepy family. Spare him his life while he gives us our own our own life, I guess. Yeah, look out for if we play Living Death twice, boy. Let me tell you. Here we go. Ready? Living Death. Oh, God. If they got Gisela, Living Death, Elvish Piper, Hell's Caretaker, I mean, I feel like they've earned it. Actually, I don't think we need to... I mean, like, we could play Herbus Protector next turn, but we sacrifice Noble Templar to do it? That seems bad. I feel like we can just draw a swamp here naturally because uh, because of course we can oh that's not what we want to see actually I have no desire to hit this guy to be quite honest with you I think this is actually fine. I think we're in okay shape here. Papa, don't sheep. Hmm. You gonna kill my sheepy boy? Well, now we need... I need a hero! There 
Hey, look. Huh. To the surprise of no one. Well, you don't have any broken creatures in your graveyard now. You just have mediocre pieces of garbage in there. Well, that's unfortunate. One more one more turn and we get the old uh Get the old Sundering Titan if we get another land. I mean, you can get Twisted Abomination back. Tre sack Treasure Cooper to get Twisted Abomination is pretty decent. Wow, another Timber Pack Wolf. You're doing well for yourself. Do you move the the boots over, attack with the abomination, and then move the move the boots back. That seems like a play. Wow, that is a lot of sweets, elk, elk tears. That is three sweets. This is a lot of treasure keepers as well. My opponent got like the double treasure keeper, million timber pack wolf, swift foot boots, hell's caretaker, elvish piper deck. That seems like a thing. Give me a supernatural stamina so I can just kill you. Mm, I guess that's a thing. We did it, boys! I'll sack my treasure keeper to get back my other treasure keeper. You got back an arbor elf with the with the wait, what happened now? Oh, you you hit this with the treasure keeper and then you got the other treasure keeper back. Wow. I mean, they get to hit a bunch of three mana or less cards. Like, it's not super. Uh, it's not super impressive. I mean, I'd much rather get a, a four four that gets bigger when you have undead gladiator in hand. But what are you gonna do? Hey, what are you gonna do? I like disenchant for his stupid boots, but that's all we would have against it. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep it like this, but I'm gonna run to the bathroom to uh, to go to the bathroom. I don't know why I said two as if I was gonna. I'll be back. Give me one second. I'll see you guys in a minute.
Vape Nation. Oh, a little Vape Nation came. Oh. Vape Nation. Oh, God, everything's happening right now. All right, I forgot to shut that off. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think we care about anything else, right? Yeah, I don't really like disenchanting a treasure keeper, though. I do like this hand. I'll keep. They went up to 42 cards. This is the world we're living in. I guess we went up to 41, but that's still a big difference. I mean, this is the worst creature they have, so they're just going to sacrifice that no matter what. Sure. Hell's Caretaker incoming. I need a hero. Elfish Piper, sure. Well, I have no way to get rid of this, so might as well make you pay for it. Vessel, put a big creature in my hand, play it for one mana. Uh. Oh, Horror of the Broken Lands. I guess that's what you're getting. Oh, I wonder what you're going to put into play. Oh, all right. Good to know. Sure. All of these things are pretty boring. I do wish they couldn't activate abilities with Pillory. That is definitely a, a wish that I have. We just have to survive for five turns though, right? That doesn't seem terrible. Well, like six turns, I guess. Seems pretty okay. Try to supernatural stamina for an aberration. No, oh, I got a Hell's Caretaker too. No, you don't? Alright. Okay. Yep. Gone. Alright. I mean, how are you going to play a pipe when you're in a pillory? I mean, that's a good point, I guess. I think we just take seven here. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I mean, like an Urbis Protector or like, I don't know, something good. It's not terrible. One. It's not great. Let's be honest. One, two, three, four. Actually, it lets us block and they can shoot it. If they block and then go shoot Kong Ming, they both die, which is pretty bad. This guy's actually surprisingly obnoxious here.
And if we try to bounce Kong Ming, it still dies because it has one damage on it. And it's a, it goes back to a 3-1. This is an interesting attack. Uh, no, not going to use that. Wish we did. I guess we could bounce Kong Ming, replay White Mane Lion. It's probably better than not doing that. Probably should have attacked with him, I guess. I mean, just play Diabolic Edict. <laughs> God. Now you kill Kong Ming. Yep, that's pretty good. Two for two, but puts us in a real bad position, so. They're at six. That's actually surprisingly good. So all I have to do is survive this turn, and I think we can do that. Oh my god, I think we just won this game. If we untap, we win, right? The answer is yes. Never not blocking here. Sure. That's life loss, not damage, right? So yeah, so you're basically dead. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That is gas, dude. Man, Caustic Tar, buddy. I feel like the first two decks we faced are way more powerful than our deck. Um, both with infinite uh, living deaths and also infinite, like, hey, I got my Giselle in my hand. I'll Elvish Piper it. Hey, I got my Giselle in my graveyard. I'll Hell's Caretaker it. So you're like, oh, well, that's a lot of things you're doing. But then they died, so. Oh, I'm going to keep this because of Luminarch Ascension. And we're on the play. Yeah, boy. Are you serious to play one drop against my Luminarch Ascension deck? Are you considering which one drop to play against my Luminarch Ascension deck? Because that's real sc Oh, my God. I feel like we're actually fine against Mono Red. We have multiple Diabolic Edicts. We have multiple sh Sheeps. I 
mean, I'm not loving this draw that they have, that's for sure, but... I guess we take nine here. I mean, this is just the best draw they could have ever gotten, right? One drop into Genju into Frenzied Goblin as well. Oh, they're not attacking with the Genju. All right. Sheepy boy, where are you at? Yeah, I can actually probably take Luminarch Ascension out. This is not this is not a strike me as a deck that we're going to be able to go a lot of turns without taking any damage. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to four. It's, uh, it's not good. I don't know what we can draw here. Even Living Death kills us because they have Genju. That's not terrible. As far as draws go, that's actually a pretty good one. We get to kill Frenzied Goblins so that all of our blocks are good. Except Trample. No. So block your Genju, block your Flamekin, go to two, or we're probably just dead because they're a red deck, so. Horling Outburst? Yes, that's actually very good for us in terms of the fact that like we get to survive a turn and play Urbis Protector or the other guy. Probably Protector, right? Two bodies is better than one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have three blockers. We go to one. But we're alive. For now. Let me give all my guys menace. Ready? Scoop it. I'm ready to scoop. <laughs> oh, boy. I remember that time I jokingly said, give all my guys menace, and then they ended up giving all their guys menace. I remember it too. All right, let's get rid of uh, Luminarch Ascension. Let's get rid of Caustic Tar, Sundering Titan. Diabolic Edict times two. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Oh boy. I think Disenchant's actually pretty good here. I'm not bringing a Lacerator against the Mono Red deck. Are you insane? Why are you like this, Alan? Uh, I don't want to keep up the mana for Will of the Wisp. I'd rather just have... Um, I think we're fine. Like We have Double Diabolic Edict. We have Dusk. This guy blocks. We do a lot of things here. I'll keep this hand. Okie dokie.
Come on, give me a six drop. Give me a three six or a uh, the other guy, the Herbus Protector. Boom, 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 boom. It's a lot of gentlemen. Well, we can play a lot of things this turn, which is nice. Definitely get a black here. I almost like Supernatural Stamina on the... Uh... Yeah, I think I like that better than just playing a Dust Legion Zealot here. We have nothing to play next turn, so we can keep up Stamina. If they try to kill our Chupacabra. Wow. This is how we died. Boy, one, two, five spells. One of them was a, a mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to f eight to five, basically. If we can remove this because it's kind of both, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven to four. It's pretty bad. I mean, they're just going to give their guys menace this turn, and we can't really deal with it, so. I guess we take six. No, it costs three, so they didn't do that. Sure. Wait, what? Oh, it's power two or less. Okay. Hmm, that's pretty good. I thought it was casting cost two or less. Well, that's unfortunate. I was like, are you just attacking with that guy? That's pretty good. Do that. Give my puppy boy back. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know when I can start attacking against this deck, though. That's my problem. Uh, we can't. Why? How would stamina prevent the seal? The steel. Oh, because its power would go up? Yeah, but that doesn't seem great. This is utterly ridiculous. My god. What can we even draw that's good here? Good lord, dude. Not that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guys. We have four guys. We take seven here. Where are our sheepy boys when we need them? Sheepy boy, sheepy boy. This is where we died. Trumpet Blast. No. Okay. I don't think they have it. So we get to go to two here. Oh boy. 
sure why not oh well thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it. if you guys uh have enjoyed the content please feel free to like and subscribe down there and i'll see you guys next time